Why does keep change flip work? We can find out with just two steps. So let's take a look at a specific example. We want to show that this is true. So first, I'm going to write 2 fifths divided by 3 fourths as a complex fraction. 2 fifths divided by 3 fourths. Now, I don't want 3 fourths in the denominator right here, so I'm going to multiply it by its reciprocal, 4 thirds. But we can't just multiply the denominator by 4 thirds. We need to multiply the numerator by 4 thirds as well to make sure we are multiplying by 1 because the identity property says that anything times 1 will give us something equivalent to itself. So what do we get when we multiply? We get 2 fifths times 4 thirds, which is exactly what we wanted to show. So we showed why keep change flip works in just two steps. Write it as a complex fraction, identity property. And we can generalize this idea. But wait, there's more. We can visually see why keep change flip works. Let's take a look at 8 divided by 2 thirds. One of the division models, the partitive model, would ask, if 2 thirds of the whole is worth 8, what's the whole worth? So if two equal sized boxes add up to 8, then each of these boxes would be worth 4. And there's three of them, so the answer is 12. So here's what we did. We took half of 8, which is 4, and we saw that there were three of them. So this is equivalent to 3 halves times 8, or 8 times 3 halves. So we can visually see why keep change flip works.